future, talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life from Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at UBNRadio.com. Oh my god, it's the Pandora Box Show! Oh, they're here every week! Hey, oh, thank you guys. Oh thank my god. Oh wait, they're leaving, they're leaving. Oh, jeez. Oh, crappers. God, you gotta start tying them down. <laughs> That's the point. God. Hi! 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 Oh, it's Alaska. But she was here last week. She sure was, with her, those amazing glasses. Tell me you guys saw... What those glasses that she was wearing look like? They were everything. I know they're fabulous. It's on YouTube. If you if yeah, you want to watch it, yes. you can go to YouTube.com/slash uh, Pandora Box, mm-hmm. and you can watch us be completely leotarded. All right, so we we, we have the face for radio, right? <laughs> when we come in, that's here. what my mama was said. My yeah. mama always said, "You have the face for radio." Sweet mama. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was thought it was going to burp, and it would have been really well timed, but it didn't work. I just want everybody to know uh, that Pandora. Uh, bad timing. Before the show started, Pandora told me to <laughs> shut up and go make her sandwich. Well, we were talking about women's rights. I know. <laughs> I was like, shut up and go make me a sandwich. <laughs> and then we both realized we're like, wait a minute. No. I don't think you want a sandwich that oh, I'm going to no. make. Then I'm I don't like, know. Mm, like, I don't think that you yeah, can. There's nothing domestic about me. Like, I will find a way to mess up I a sandwich. I think the only thing you like to cook with is sausage. Yeah, yeah, you know it. <laughs> Good. Thick Maybe some cucumbers. Sausage. Oh, I should. Uh, Samantha Hale, my co-host. Oh yeah, hi. <laughs> Who is this person? Oh, oh my god. A whistle it. too. Because you oh, you're probably you you're sh- showing off your taters a little there. I kind of am. Even though you know what the funniest thing about this shirt that is that it's a t-shirt. I, that it's a t-shirt. <laughs> well, not only that it's a t-shirt, but it is. Wait for it. Wait for it. An Ani DeFranco t shirt who may or may not be a lesbian folk singer. So I'm really not proving my case no. at all. No, today you look full on Liz. <laughs> it's, I'm tired. I'm tired. Boo. I mean, I can't, I'm always wearing a, a doofy t shirt. I'm t-shirt just dressed anyway, like you, so, so I look tired. Uh, no, but the thing is, I do dress like a lesbian. I've always got a t shirt and hoodies on. And, and you have sneakers, the haircut for it, too. And yeah. And when my hair was blonde, blonde, I just was Ellen. Oh, basically. yeah. Yeah. That's great. It was great for picking up guys, too. Right? And you were funnier back then, too. <laughs> wah, wah. Oh, I don't know. All right. So I we I need to thank our sponsor, The Gaily Grind. Yes, Yay, Gaily. sponsor. Woo-hoo. Such good articles from yeah, them. Yeah, thegailygrind.com. Go to thegailygrind.com. Go to thegailygrind.com. Go to thegailygrind.com. <laughs> Wait, where should we go? To thegailygrind.com. <laughs> um, and actually, I'm going to start I'm gonna start writing for them. So. Oh, fantastic. I know. Oh, that's I, awesome. I fancy myself with some writing skills. And That's I'm gonna, great. I'm going to write for them, so it's going to be... So we can talk cool. about the articles that you write. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm really going to write about um, dick, campy movies, yeah. and drag, because I think that's Sounds the only interest like what that we I talked about anyway. Life. Yeah. I don't know if I know much more than that. So that what more do you need to know? I don't know. I think you're um, covered. Yeah, and another another exciting thing that you know, sometimes I sh- forget to shamelessly self promote myself on my own show, but yeah, I'm going to be on the European leg of the RuPaul's Drag Race <gasps> Battle of the Seasons. How fun! Tour. That looks like a crazy cool lineup too. It yeah, and it's it's really exciting because it's I don't know how many cities, but there's a lot, and they just added two more dates because some of the shows had already sold out. Are you on all of the cities? Or do, I'm so on they all, check all of them. All of them. Like oh, the fantastic. whole European tour. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, That's so I'm so really cool. excited. So if you are one of our European Ooh. listeners, European, do you have a big suitcase I can shove myself in? And <laughs> kind of, I'll, I'll go in storage. I'll go in cargo. It's fine. <laughs> yes, I've been okay. in worse places. That'll, that'll happen. <laughs> um, so European listeners, you can go to RuPaulBots, B-O-T-S, dot com and get tickets awesome. and see all the dates. And just so you know, RuPaul's, RuPaul Bots is like its code name, what it goes by. And that was my idea. Was it really? Uh-huh. Smart. I wrote well, it to my manager. I was like, I was talking about, I'm like, well, wh- what about bots? And he's like, Bot. This is when we first did. He's like, Bots, what's that? I'm like, Battle of the Seasons. 
Mm, ah, guess what they started calling mm, it after? Bot sore. And, uh, I mean, it's not. It's it's not like it's genius or anything. It's just the initials. But it's a cool but way uh, to remember bots. Hey. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh my God. She is on her sound effects kick. Here she goes. (laughs) I'll uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, Just. Oh oh my God. I'm going to throw something at you. No more coffee for you. I mean, that's actually what it is. I'm like, Kevin says, Timmy, so now I'm like, how many many shots of espresso are in this thing? (laughs) I have 10. Okay. No, there's like, I think there's like two. That would stop your heart. Oh my god. No, none for you. Here is water. Here is a nice water. <laughs> Did you backwash? Well, of course. Front washed, backwashed, whatever. I vaginally washed. <laughs> Ew. Ew. All right. So um <laughs> I I do have something I'd like to sit and, and sit and bitch about. Yes. Sitting and bitching. Sitting and bitching. <laughs> 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 I did the violin thing, but I but played, the, I played but it, it like I was tickling. It. You, yeah, well, tickling the violin. I don't know if that's how. <laughs> that's not how you play. Don't a you violin. tickle a piano like you tickle the ivories of I know, a piano? Genius. I got it wrong. Aww. Um. Well, what am I? I wanted. What to are we s- bitching about? But we're just Republicans for a second. Oh God, that's gonna take all show. Patrick crazy, but then it's like, who do you even vote for? They're all terrible. They're terrible yeah. and awful. And Ted Cruz is disgusting. Mm-hmm. I mean, even his own daughter cries and runs away oh, from I him know. when he's trying to kiss her. Did you see the meme? More than like, once. The alien one where it like it shows the clip of him trying to kiss her <laughs> and then it cuts to Sigourney Weaver backing away from the alien. Yeah, he's so <laughs> like, I'm like, gross. Like it It's is. just like, ew. Yeah. Okay, one, she's a teenage girl, so she probably hates she's, everybody. Yeah, exactly. But two, you know you're on camera. Why try and make it look like you're a fucking child Forced. molester. Yeah. Like Ooh. for real. I was like, ew. ew. He's, he looks like he wants to eat her. Like it's well, rah, rah, rah. It's, that's great for us Democrats. <laughs> Terrible. The only good thing I can say about Ted Cruz is that he beat Donald Trump. Yes. Woo. Yeah, woo. Where are people yeah. for that? Yay. I'm just waiting for Donald Trump to come out and just be like, eh, I'm an asshole. Just kidding. Well, everybody keeps retweeting a tweet that he, he tweeted like a couple years ago that Something about being in second place, or, or you're not a winner, or I don't know. Now I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was so it was so ironic and perfect, right? And I'm like, <laughs> right. The scary thing is that did you see that picture going around of someone put the swastika on his star of fame, and somebody put <laughs> the scary thing is you don't know yes. if that's someone who's for him or against him. Yeah, that's totally creepy, and that's really scary, actually. Yeah, Lady Bunny had a really good post today on her on her page about uh, you know. It, it, kind of like the real the realism of of what Trump stands for, yeah, and uh, that it's it's good to see that people are actually like okay, like come on, that's, yeah, because no. Ted Cruz is terrible too, but he hasn't made like racist misogynist comments right like, repeatedly, right, like Trump has, like he it's just constant right barrage, and of he's just proud of it, ignorance, yeah. Mm-hmm. But people still, <laughs> there's still people that are saying that he did all this to cut and throw more weight towards Hillary because he's really a Hillary supporter. If that's the truth, I mean, we'll see. That's like, I don't know. That's uh, an interesting game plan. Did, <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Uh, it's something. I, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, but um, yeah. I don't know. Any, enough about him, I think, right? Right, right. But. See, I have it. I could sit and bitch about something and take it. I don't know, different. It's not as nearly as important as <laughs> as politics. I know, but I I want, <laughs> uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit about it, but then skip skip over it because I mean we we have we I think we have the same political view, so it's oh yeah it's better. I and think most the, of the people on the show are going to have the same. We're all pretty but, much in agreement on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, in in lighter news, uh, so I was just in San Diego this weekend for the San Diego Comedy Festival, which was which was a lot of fun. Uh, it was really cool, but it was the f- the f- the first show that I did. So I drove. It took me like five hours to get down there. Traffic was so bad, and like so a car went off the bridge. Apparently, I don't know. It was a nightmare. Mm-hmm. I rolled up just in time to do my set, and I was kind of like, you know, when like you're you're here, but you're not really here, and you're just exhausted. You're talking words. Words are coming out of your mouth that you're not even. It was one of those days. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have fun. It's gonna be a good night. So I got up and I did a couple jokes. And I did like a stupid joke making fun of Bakersfield. Uh, um, it's it, all the joke is is I, I've never done meth, but I have been to Bakersfield, which is like silly, you know. But this woman in the front row uh-huh. was like, <laughs> "You're so me. <laughs> you're 
you're mean. I'm like, ma'am, you can't laugh and call me mean at the same time. Like, <laughs> pick know, one. Right? Pick a stance. I was like, are you from Bakersfield? She's like, no. I'm like, well, then why are you offended? Let's let let's talk about being offensive. So then I did my AIDS joke for her. And I was, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, now are you offended? And then did your song into AIDS, 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 <laughs> AIDS. <laughs> hey, you've got it. He's got it. AIDS. I just, That's people my new are song. so fucking sensitive. It's like, dude. Yeah, but she was laughing. Though. I know. That's I'm like, thing. pick one. I, I'm evil or I'm not well, evil. And you're going to a comedy show. Yeah, what do you And expect? saying people do meth in Bakersfield. I know. Or allude to it. That's not mean. I, yeah, I know. Because it's just the truth. You know? <laughs> it's just a silly joke. I'm like, I just wanted to be like, oh, I have so many more terrible things I could say. I know that's Math? not even that's not even one to be offended. That's not about. even one to be. That's, that's what I was like, like, are you from there? No. no. Do you do math? Maybe that was. Oh, that. that's what it was. She was missing a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's like, somebody sticking in me Ooh. repeatedly for Possibly. hours. Probably. Maybe I should go back and <laughs> let her have it. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was my lady sex noise. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> thank, God. <laughs> thank God you're a fake lady. Oh, my God. My boyfriend <laughs> told me. He's like, because he likes to walk around naked all the time. And I, yeah. so, I'm so used yeah, to it because we've been together so long. But it's like he goes, oh, sometimes I wish you just like looked at me like you are interested or like you just want it. And I'm like, <laughs> so I did a sexy face for him oh where God. I was like, oh, like licking my <laughs> lips and he's like is that the face that you make when you're trying to be sexy to somebody oh, and no. I'm like well, like, well no I... but and he's like never mind <laughs> oh, and then he put his pants back on and walked away <laughs> So I'm out of here. <laughs> he just walked out the door. And I'm to the going neighbors. to Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> I'm so terrible because yeah I I I've done that a couple times and I've <laughs> made weird noises and I was just like stop because now that if we have sex that's all I'm going to think about is you being like Ugh, <laughs> Ugh. and I'm like I'm sorry sometimes I can't turn now I comedy. have to think about that too thanks a lot I know next time you're being penetrated you're going to be like Ugh, 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 but Ugh, thank you for Ugh, implying Ugh, 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 Ugh. that you think there's going to be a next time that I get penetrated thank you I'm going to so penetrate sweet. with my foot in a oh, second ooh, don't sure. threaten me with a good time Speaking of penetration, <laughs> let's go to our man crushes. Man crush. Ooh, that was actually Sizzle. a good segue. You're getting better with segues. <laughs> I want to give you uh, a point for that. My man crush is is model, occasional actor Sean Ross, who's in a music video of some band that I can't remember. I should have written it down because <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I didn't. You were distracted to the song. by. Something. But apparently, he has an alleged large member, and in this video, oh, it's just him coming out of water, and it's slow motion, and then it gets closer, and then he's getting up, and then you see it, and then you see it, and you see part of it, and part of it, and part of it. It's like a fucking arm. Like Ooh. it's like when it's flapping in the water, slow motion. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? I'm like, does that thing need to be burped? What? <laughs> I mean, he could he could throw it over his shoulder and go as a gas pump for Halloween. It's oh. so large. But then I guess the director said that it was a prosthetic penis because he wanted it to be so so over the top. Over the top. But, but there are a lot of hungry, hungry, hung, hung, hang, hangry, hangry. hangry. That's hangry. what I was trying to say. I'm like, that's not. Yeah, girl, that was wrong. That no. was very. You tried though. I did. Hangry. Hangry. And, Hashtag thirsty people out there because there there were people like. Mm, but what would you really do with that? I don't Wouldn't know. that physically hurt? Burp I mean, it. Just go, I know. Pat, just kind of hug uh, it. Make a tree out of it. Like just I, I don't know. Dance around it. I, I. I mean, just the tip would be real. Like that's all you right. could do. Right. <laughs> yeah. Even in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> You'd have to like <laughs> take both hands and your feet. And go up and down. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> oh my god! Like you know those it's a workout. You know those monkeys, like like little stuffed monkeys that are ha- like clapped on the onto a stick, <laughs> kind of like that, where you have to hug your whole body around. <laughs> Colin, hey, uh, I'm gonna need some help in here. No, 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 a couple more of you. No, uh, a few more. And this uh, is a this is a five f- 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 five. F- 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 <laughs> This is a five-man job. All right, I'm giving you the coffee back now. I think I was starting to laugh, and I I don't know. It just came out weird. Sometimes I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking jokes as I'm saying them. What have I told you about thinking? Never do it. Okay. (laughs) Thanks, Ma. You're welcome, dear. (laughs) Now go to your room. Um, and so you don't have a man crush. So we'll oh, on. no, I do. <laughs> no, I totally have a man crush. I'm kidding. I know you want to tell us. I story, have an so. epic man crush. 
gosh, because, okay, so one of the very first jokes that I ever wrote was a musician joke making fun of drummers. And I went to my show the other day and I walk in and I'm looking in the lobby and fucking Dave Brohl is sitting there from the Foo Fighters, Nirvana, like rock and roll history legend, you know? So he's sitting there. I'm like, uh, no way he's going to come watch the show. And Bert, <laughs> what is he going to do? He came and watched the show. It turns out that uh, his cousin was the host of the show. Super cool guy, Tim Hanlon. Very funny. Um, but anyway, so he comes in and watches it. I'm like, do I do it? Ah, fuck it. So I did it in the punchline of his drummer and I did it right to him. And he, he was like, Oh, (laughs) and, but he laughed so hard. I was like, Dave Grohl is here. You guys, I had to say something. He got up and like, you know, took a bat. It was so funny. He's probably the nicest famous human you will ever meet ever. Just so gracious and like genuine. And, and he was just, I was just fucking with him the whole time. Uh, it's on my Twitter. If you guys want to look, I just linked it on YouTube. Uh, the Samantha Hale Twitter. Uh, shameless plug. It's shameless plug day. Plug, plug, Fuck it. Plug, plug but he was vagina. so cool. And I just went up to him after. I was like, hey, man, thanks for letting me pick on you. And he was like, it was so fun. He was just, you guys, I am a fan for life, forever. Oh. Such a cool, genuine, nice dude. Talk to everybody. Did you took get a pictures. little noise? A little. Did you make a puddle? A little. <laughs> drip, <laughs> Give me drip, a little. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Well, I feel like if you're going to a comedy show and you're somebody that's kind of well known, that yeah, like people are gonna pick. He sat in the front. He sat yeah. right in the front. You have to expect it a little. Yeah. Bit. Yeah. He was just so cool, and none of the other comics called him out. And I was like, well, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. And then uh, you know, well, so cool. yeah, I'm I'm glad that you d- you did your joke. Thank you. That's like me on a uh, drag race when Kathy, uh, Kathy Griffin was the judge. And, yeah. And I had that red wig and I wasn't even going to bring it. And I'm like, fuck it. It doesn't really match my outfit because it's made out of curtain because that was our challenge. <laughs> oh, that's right. But I'm like, I'm, <laughs> how often am I ever going to be in front of Kathy Griffin walking a runway? I'm right. wearing this fucking wig. Good Here for I would have. And uh, well, you know what? That got me a picture with her afterwards. Right. She loved it. And didn't you guys tweet back and forth a couple times too? She did. She did twat me twice. Yeah. Yeah. That's rad. Next time she's in town, we should go. We should. She won't care, fun. but it's fine. So we'll make her <laughs> care. It's, it's all right. <laughs> We're not friends. I thought we would be besties after the show. Well, give it time, boo. Give it time. It's all right. I just, I mean, I sit on her front lawn and she calls the cops. So it's almost like we're friends. It's almost like you know each other. She knows you. Yeah. So of the cops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of the cops, oh. we've got a fabulous guest. <laughs> Mariah Balenciaga <laughs> is here. <laughs> From Segway Drag Race. So good. <laughs> you hear that, our, Puss? Our dear, dear friend. <laughs> our uh, dear, Mariah, dear friend. Mariah Balenciaga. <laughs> and um, a friend of mine, she is an actor, a singer, and, and gorgeous and, and funny. Uh, Haviland Stillwell is here, too. Yay. Yay. So um, we're going to play one of uh, Haviland's songs called Muse. Show a little bit of the video of her being sexy. Ooh. And then I'm going to go get our guests and we'll bring them in. Yay. Yay.
Yay! Hey. <laughs> that was Muse by Havilland Stillwell. Hi, Havilland. Hi, Pandora. Hi, Samantha. Hello. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. This is my first time on your show. It is. Yeah, Yay. that was a sexy little video. Oh, thanks. I know yeah, Mariah just, likes it because her nipples yeah, are hard. That was delicious. Yeah, well. <laughs> that was my Hershey Kisses. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, no. Well, straight and out of the freezer. <laughs> she's she's here. She's back. Mariah she's back. Balenciaga is oh. in the house. Oh. <laughs> Bad timing. And all. Yeah, I know. They're from Neiman's. Oh my! Oh, they're from Neiman's. They're Neiman's, everybody. <laughs> so, um, Havilland, you're an actor, singer, and what got me a little tickled is that uh, you're a you're a voice actor in in, in a Barbie series. That's right. <laughs> I <am. Yay>! Barbie. <laughs> I Barbie. Am. Barbie. I even wear my bar. I wore my Barbie shirt. Life Gosh. in the dream house. Because sometimes Barbie you have girl. to dress like a 14 year old, which is sort of what <laughs> I'm doing today. I'm like, I look like I'm in junior high, but. Not what I looked like when I was in junior high, but I know I'd be like, "Damn, it's like the hottest junior right. high thing." Damn, I she definitely that. Look. She definitely didn't peak in high school. <laughs> I did I, not <laughs> peak in high school. That's she's for hot, sure. She's still a hot one. <laughs> I, I, I got that. braces and glasses within a week of each other, so it was like instant nerd. Oh. Oh. I had braces and glasses too. I had like an extra sixty pounds. Well, so. I've always <laughs> I had that too. Yeah, I had it all, dude. Being a fat kid is rough. Oh, it I've really heard. Is. I've heard. <laughs> Mariah uh, wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, I've always had perfect teeth. Mariah's like, I used to. Yeah, I used to talk to people like you guys and be like, Ooh, she's like, oh sucks yeah, to I remember. Fat. Yeah, I mm. <laughs> no, I, you know what? I, I'm actually, the one that used to throw rocks at you. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I actually used to eat lunch at the end of first wing with like kind of people similar to Pandora. Yeah, I used to go down there and you know and help out with those kids. Oh, yeah. so thoughtful. Oh, and now nice. and now you help out with me. Well, now my community <laughs> service is court mandated. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I I was in a remedial gym class when I was a kid. Oh, really? No, really, it was true. And uh, I don't I don't know what we did in the remedial gym class. Like we just played duck duck duck. <laughs> so couldn't run. Or, like hide and stay there. I mean, what is involved Aww. in a remedial gym class? I don't. I do. I do not know. And well, how did you get? put in the remedial gym I what did, did you get what did you do i don't know but my mother doesn't she's like i don't remember that i'm like no it's yeah, true yo, I was she in remembers a remedial gym class oh Pandora. it's funny what our mothers forget i know, you know? Right? i know how do you fail gym <laughs> like i had to repeat gym um if you're gay you fail gym <laughs> well no. i'm sure that you're... unless you're a lesbian true. Oh, no, i didn't no. do that well oh. in gym though so. well you know what it did kind of prepare you for life i mean you're tugging that rope now i bet you yeah and you're yeah. great at catching balls <laughs> Well, <laughs> wow. Teamwork, Maris. Wah, Did you say wah. that? Team- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Air oh, gun. Air shit. <laughs> now I see what kind of show this is. <laughs> well, everybody I feel like should know that uh, Mariah is like my evil stepsister, like the ugly stepsister that I never wanted. Well, but yeah, um, I was fourth. She makes me like, she makes me sleep in the den with the rats. Yes. Oh. I was just telling them of me and Morgan McMichaels. I'm the oh, good no. evil twin. You are actually. Yeah. You Can are you the good feel evil the twin. Love <laughs> I just feel like there's a lot of love and light in the room right I now. Do. Yeah. I just say that there's there a lot totally of is. Havilland we'll just make eye contact I know just let I know. them have their moment do you know yeah. what we'll, you, get, we'll live in our Barbie and I are just dream gonna house fall in love across <laughs> it's like across the yin and the yang that's right house. there's a balance speaking there's of balance. Barbie aren't you and Barbie like around the same age oh my God. 400 I think she just <laughs> celebrated with a new look, body 1959 I know that you, I know that you spent oh, wow. a whole half hour writing some jokes for this show but simmer down now simmer down now Cross some of them off. <laughs> okay. I got, hold on. I told y'all I came in with notes. Oh, no. Oh, oh shit. No. There we go. You I never prepare for anything. Yeah, Why she you was, prepare for this? She was feeding me mean <laughs> things to say to you guys. She's like, no, do it. No, say it. It'll be really funny. I, I'm like, but I don't, I'm like in a really, I mean, I'm funny, but I'm a nice funny. So I feel like, Samantha doesn't know me, but Pandora does. And I feel like you'd be like, God, how long's really mean today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would have known where it came from. I would have known. I would have yeah, known. known the evil. But you know, I always You're like, trying to be a bad influence I'm on me. I'm so glad we asked her back on the show. <laughs> I know. Great. Wow, that, that was a good Great. choice. They good were all choice. really funny. They were funny, mean things, but... Yeah. You know what Mariah actually got me for Christmas? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> she got me... No, I wish it would have been nothing. She oh got me like a toddler's chilled, like a pop-up book to teach me numbers, because obviously I don't understand numbers, and a bag of pet friends from Target. <laughs> <laughs> Gourmet dog food. 
I Delicious. <laughs> it was all that. Is now. that low fat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just fry it up. It's right. Whose yeah. friend is she? How did she get on? The, who booked her on the show? <laughs> who brought her? I don't know. Security. She keeps showing up. But we just let her in this time. Right, I came over here. Uh, I kind of tagged along in Todrick Hall's Hello Kitty bag last time. <laughs> you sure did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah anything to get a little attention. She I grabbed it. the mic out of our hands this time. <laughs> we just, she was like, give me the headphones. Yes. I kicked him down the stairs. I love him. <laughs> he was a sweetheart. He was sweet. Super sweet. Oh, I Jesus. Him. What have we done? Yeah. I apologize to all of you. <laughs> Pandora, your yet. eyes are so pretty. Thank you. Oh We're my god. We're just gonna keep gazing at oh, each other and you falling guys. in love. You look pretty today. They remind me of sure. paprika. <laughs> 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 You're kind of shaped like a Barbie, too. You're very thin. She's beautiful. Oh, thanks, guys. She's so beautiful. I mean, I feel like anatomically that's impossible, but right. Oh, right. Well, to be except I was that, looking at your waist, and I'm like, well, to be like a bar- to be Barbie size. No, but except Nobody that one girl who actually did it. Did you see that girl who yes, got all the plastic surgery? Crazy. And she looks like a living doll. Oh wait, though they. Oh, it's creepy. The big thing too is that Barbie <laughs> now has has changed. They have new Barbie shapes that you they're, can get. They're you rebranding. Oh, yes, wow. they're yeah. rebranding. Yeah. You can get petite, tall, and curvy Barbies now. The fantasy yeah. doll for the real woman. <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. exactly. <laughs> the thing is, I never, I mean, I played with Barbies constantly as Me a child. Too. Like, Yeah, I mean, I literally had like multiple Barbies. But I never in my head, like I'm a feminist and everything, but I never thought playing with Barbies, like this is what a woman is supposed to look like. That right. wasn't like, it was like, this is a doll. Right. Like, I mean, I, I appreciate when people say that it like, I get it, like triggering everything. Everyone's triggered from everything, whatever. I respect you and all of your issues. But also <laughs> having said that, it's a doll. I don't like look at a baby doll and I'm like, why doesn't this baby look like this baby doll? Yeah. Like it's a doll. No, I mean, you know? I, didn't, I didn't play with my sister's cabbage patch and go, oh, oh my God, I, I wish so I looked like <laughs> Why don't I look like yeah, why don't I look like a prune face I turd? I don't know, but so I I slept with somebody once who had an Xavier Roberts tattoo on her butt. Oh, Just my saying. Goodness. Um, that was an experience. I was like, and a Cabbage Patch Kid. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs> it's kind of a cute idea in theory, but not in real life. Yeah. No. Especially when it starts right. to wilt. Yeah, right? Oh. Like, how big is that Xavier Roberts <laughs> like, oh. when you're 80 you can't even read it oh. it turns into garbage pail kid tattoo yeah t- totally <laughs> Mariah aging herself over here oh god now, see that's what I tr- I strove to be when I was a kid I'm like I want to look like a garbage pail kid oh you succeeded I, rem- <laughs> I think I did I don't remember what I wanted garbage pail kids were banned from my school like people were get would get in trouble oh, wow. like sent really? to the principal if they had garbage pail kids cards I think that's because wow. of the chewing gum <laughs> oh, you can't chew gum. <laughs> Probably. But it was like really, it was like really bad. But I remember thinking it was like porn. Like it was as, it was the equivalent of like, don't show anybody that you have these. Like oh my God. really wow. contraband. Crazy. Well, it was kind of like Ooh. the first illustration of how bad a gag reflex could be. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want, don't let this happen to you. Swallow it. <laughs> hey, everybody, the she's the got jokes. You know. She's got jokes today. <laughs> she's got her notebook, everybody. Uh-oh. Oh, oh here she goes. No. Oh, my God. Can you just take her phone away real quick? Oh, All right. I'm not doing anything. Oh, no. <laughs> no I'm going to let Mariah her. be no. who like, Mariah what did I get is. Into? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we do a regular portion on the show called Soapbox. Soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, why does that, gurgle, that make gurgle. me giggle every time? <laughs> so we we'll just talk about That's some pop culture, asshole. some gay things, and some weird news stories. I just want to, I know we talked about Trump, and I don't like to talk about him anymore, but I just want anyone to know that a, <laughs> that a tattoo shop in New Hampshire is giving free Donald Trump, tra- tra- Donald tattoos. Trump tattoos to its client. To its client. So yeah. if anybody, you, anybody can go the in clients. there. And get a free Trump tattoo. And they show somebody uh, Not a Trump stamp. getting it. <laughs> oh, Trump stamp. <laughs> Girl, Good please. One. Who I, wants a middle-aged, well, over-the-hill, yeah. like, washed-up? Yeah. I'd rather have a Can you get asshole. one of Melania? Can that be your Trump <gasps> stamp? Oh. oh. Like Melania That's stamp. just the tramp stamp. That's just that. <laughs> tramp and Trump. I mean, Trump. hey, if you yeah. want somebody to make a deposit in your ass, that's the quickest way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. It can't be a very good tattoo shop because did you 
you see the example of the tattoo of Trump? It had a full set of hair. I'm like, well, clearly they're not accurate. <laughs> like they are, they, they, mm -mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, it didn't I, look like him at all. They should have done it where it had that meme where somebody put like an asshole over <laughs> Trump's oh, mouth. Oh, yeah. I mean, that would be more accurate. That would be like, <laughs> that would be like completely. <laughs> I yeah. sign up for that. Mm -hmm. I actually, I, I almost got banned from corn. Instagram for posting that. Did you? Yeah, they're like, we've removed this. Oh, because it's, it's an really? asshole. It's not allowed in content. And then yeah. it got on Facebook, I think it got me banned for a little bit too. Oh, jeez. His <laughs> face We have Republican high. followers. <laughs> I, I I have gotten banned several times from Facebook. Not in a while, but I've gotten. But that's kind of hardcore. Wow. That's kind of cool. She's I know the first time I was right? I was like, Ooh, and then I was like, I got banned again, and, I, and then I got banned for like the third time in a row. I'm like, oh, fuck, oh my god, really, you I'm should like, compete. Yeah, with you and Delta work competing for how many times <laughs> you can get banned. Me, right. me and all my porn star friends that get banned like every week too. I'm like, oh god. Well, I I'm, I'll, okay, I, I just show pictures of Mariah's dick, make. and everybody's yeah. so offended. <laughs> that they're like, oh my god, what is that? I can't see it. Can you learn? <laughs> Have y'all seen Sean Ross's? Piece? Yeah, we, we oh, talked yeah. about that. Before. Oh God, F fine, fuck. No, it. no, no. I, we, but it's it's prosthetic it's, it's, though. It's talk worthy still. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, I, think, I know. I think it was nice. It was like She's so. It was like so proportionate to his thighs. And then his, <laughs> Only you would be thinking but, about yeah, proportion. It's it nice. But it's not real though. It's okay. His it's smile fine. is. <laughs> no, he's cute. I he love was, Sean he Ross. He was my man crush today. So, I love yeah. Sean Ross. Ooh. He's so awesome. He gave me a hug and I felt it on my leg at one of the world, world of wonder parties. And you haven't washed. Your leg since? No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't bathed. Please, since then. I'm sorry. When has she washed her leg? That's <laughs> good point. Honest. All right, I don't good even point. shave. All right, so this this is a good one for Mariah too. Um, this is from the Gailey Grind, our sponsor. Uh -huh. Yay! Yay. Um, Okay, there that sounded is. sounded so authentic. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> it sounds like a gay like um, grind. <laughs> Yay. There is a, a new sexual, a sex calculator that will mm -hmm. tell you how many people you've been sexually exposed to. Um, the sexual exposure cal calculator, I can't talk today, is helping us to determine how many sexual partners we have been indirectly exposed to within six degrees of connection. Um, and according to the, according to the calculator, if you've had sex with nine people, and if those nine people had sex with nine people, then you've exposed to five hundred thousand people. <laughs> well, it's really, like that, but it's what really I, upsetting. But what I, I, I actually did it. the the biggest <laughs> I thing that I uh, I read this part of the article and I was like, Whoa? a study published last year in the Archives of Sexual Behavior found that millennials are on pace to sleep with an average of eight partners during their lifetimes. What? Fewer Bullshit. than Generation X, 10 partners, and the baby boomers, 11 partners. Yeah, Wait, what? I think it'd be the other way Where around. Are, who, per who are those numbers? Lifetime. Right? What? I'm like, Wait. honey. I, I was like, I know oh. personally. Like, are they, like, are they talking out. like 18 year olds? Like, I, what are they talking right. about? No, but it says per their lifetimes. So I was like, well, then I've had <laughs> several. They several don't, yeah, everyone I know has lived lifetimes. nine lives then. <laughs> <laughs> Pandora's number, like <laughs> you're <laughs> everywhere. Your number is just a symbol. It's just like pi it is. at this point. It's, it's not a numeral real number. <laughs> yeah, it's just like here. This is how it's many. It's pi. They're like but, <laughs> Samantha. Uh, her pi, I know numbers are hard for you, but pi is a real number. No, but I mean <laughs> it's like a, like a symbol. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, but, you know, right. Okay. It's just like that red uh, circle with the cross through it. It's like no, we can't even go. Yeah. There. We can't even yeah. go. That's higher. that's her symbol. Well, I don't need a calculator. All of them were in the same room at the same time. <laughs> I'm still healing from it. But I don't see how. Mm. Accurate. Was it one of those like thousand gang bangs that you can buy for like thirty five cents in and the video I VHS bin? Get, I don't even get residuals <laughs> from the video. I feel Aww. so cheated. Well, girl, it's cost thirty five cents. <laughs> But how accurate could it be, though? Because, like, what if you slept with one person who slept with nine people, but say you slept with another person who slept with two, and then another one who slept with 18? You don't but, know. But you know what? I want to know what loser came up with this calculation. <laughs> I'm like, are you not getting laid? You have to figure out yeah. how many times somebody else has gotten laid. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah, right. what was the impetus to create this algorithm? Oh, right. that's an $18 word. I like I that. I know. And Impet the other 18. thing is that this With this residuals. Certainly she did, did it, well in high school. <laughs> it certainly didn't uh, keep, it didn't, it wasn't a calculation of gay people because uh, there's no way. 
No. Gay, gay people like <laughs> sleep, or sleep like a lot of anyone. I mean, anyone in Atlanta Housewives. It was right. I mean, <laughs> we're talking about Atlanta. Here's what I really want. I want to come out with an app called Where's My Dignity. Oh, and God. it's a reverse like hookup app that traces your steps back through the night and figures out, you know, uh, boop, 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 boop. I was at Mickey's. <laughs> okay, boop, 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 boop. then I was at Motherlow. An app that I would need. Then I got yeah, that's chlamydia. A great idea. <laughs> Have you guys been watching Chelsea Does? Because I feel like you could go to Silicon Valley and pitch that, and someone would make that app for you. We should do I that. Think I'm going to. Uh, hold on. Let, saying. Let me, let me, let me write down in your notes, girl. I'm a patent it real quick. Girl, no. <laughs> yeah, do it. Uh, that, that would be Get such your hard pitch fun. together. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is ready for that yes. app. Okay. Somebody's ready. Yeah. Somebody is going to steal this idea <laughs> on my radio show. And yeah, I they're going to take your app. My app to myself. Well, they're gonna, they're, maybe they'll like team it. up with you. Maybe what an app. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a dumb pun. I like puns. She's funny. <laughs> she has Samantha, great timing. For what? you just listeners at home, Samantha oh, no. has given me the only <laughs> death glare <laughs> oh, God. for me I, saying I was, that. Well, I mean, I may have... No. Oh, y'all are so horrible. Now, uh, another, another. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What did you say, Mariah? <laughs> All right. Another. Would that be horrible. Go outside. <laughs> another article from the Gailey Grind. The Gailey Grind. Um, are you two. Okay. <laughs> gonna, Just right here. We're gonna right have to here. go outside. Another article on the Gailey Grind, which is it's how to spot a homo um, from a 1962 uh read uh, an article, a newspaper article. Mm -hmm. It claims that gay men fall into two groups, the obvious and the concealed. <laughs> the gay men who fall into the obvious category dye their hair, touch their lips. No, walk, touch, touch up their lips. Touch up their lips, sorry. Touch up little, their lips. Yeah, I was lipstick. like, I'm missing. Touch up their lips, walk with a gay little wiggle, <laughs> and could be spotted by a one-eyed jack on a foggy day. I mean, I'm just saying it's not... <laughs> Inaccurate. Well, there's well, not three totally. No, well, there's three kind of gays. <laughs> there's the, I guess, concealed, the obvious, and then those who mind their fucking business. Yeah. I'll try to figure out who's gay anymore. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? It's just like yeah, sometimes really. I'm. Well, I'm this sorry. was 1962. I mean, well, I mean, so. you could tell. Oh yeah, let's really tell 1962. A butterfly <laughs> in in platform pumps. Every guy was dressing homosexual. But did you see how they described the concealed types? Yeah. Apparently they <laughs> wear silk suits at chi-chi bars with full-bosomed ladies. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, and some of the hidden gays are the middle-aged man, unmarried, who has an unnaturally strong affection for his mother. <laughs> <laughs> so the man who is... Norman Bates <laughs> yeah. was gay? Yeah, exactly. The I man mean, who was, has consuming interest in youth... He is ready to give all his spare time to working and talking with boys and youths. Mm -hmm. You know what? Those That's types gross. of studies yeah. are the uh, is what's wrong with Donald Trump's toupee today. <laughs> I swear, I'm like, it really is. Those that's so absolutely absurd. <laughs> Bringing it around. I think I, I think actually the person that wrote this in 1962 was a fag. Uh, oh, exactly. I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. You would not. Nobody would be that obsessed, that detailed about any culture unless you are a part of it yeah. or right. wish to be a part of it. Right. Yeah, exactly. No, there's right. just no way. That's so disgusting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Did you see? Uh, my, the last, the last one was my favorite. The over clean yeah. man <laughs> is the next prime suspect. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, he showers. Gay. All right. Come so, on. <laughs> it's like, ooh, sorry for all you straight women out there having to lick a dirty ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, Kim Kardashian does it just fine. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm still... I oh, know, right? Bring, <laughs> bring it back to assholes. Oh. <laughs> How many fingers do you think? Who's oh who's who's winning in this in this match? Amber Rose or Kim? Who do you think has gotten to the wrist? Because, oh. <laughs> you know, some of the guys, some of the concealed guys have the band tattoos on their arm, oh, which God. shows it's kind of a... Wink. What? It's a wink wink tattoo on how far they've been able to fist somebody. <gasps> no. Yes, it That's is. Not I true. know. No, it is. You really learn. It's, it's, this yeah. is a learning program. This is, a, this is yeah. an educational show. It's a I'm also making a note to never book Mariah again. <laughs> 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 oh my God. I got so excited. I hit the microphone. She sure did. I was like, no, but it took me a second. And so I saw some same guys, uh, guys with the same tattoo in different cities and stuff. And I was like, 
what is this oh, tattoo? Like, like two little the two eyes? Ba- the, no, the bands. Yeah, oh. no, I've seen the around their arm. That's not what it means no, all the time, it, is wait, it? Wait, really? When, well. they, when they get to a certain point, I guess that's like, oh, I got there. It's like a badge of honor. Yeah. Wow. Gross. I'm telling you, it's it's, it's a real deal. Everyone's start, just start really going speechless. To a, <laughs> start going to a, go to a bear club or a daddy club or a leather bar and start looking at how many people have the same tattoo. I'm going to go oh. up and in this outfit and be like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> I have a question about your tattoo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please let me be there, I too. I was talking to Mariah, and she told me. <laughs> One of the obvious gays from 1962. Yeah. Are you she a homosexual? <laughs> Say. You look overly clean. How close are you with yeah. your mother? <laughs> I heard that that armband means you've been in somebody's large intestine. <laughs> <laughs> and tickled the fiddle a little bit. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, Did you pull out a surprise? <laughs> it's like a Cracker Jack box. <laughs> I don't remember eating corn. <laughs> and we're back to corn. Corn. Do you like nuts? <laughs> oh. I know that Planners commercial. Oh. The- <laughs> corn and peanuts. I wish that what we is it about their makeup that doesn't digest? I wish we had a train sound going off the track. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's done. It's out of your hands. Look, it's I told you out of your hands, you guys. I told you it was happened. Oh Mariah's right. new single, Off the Tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Just train or train or, Oh, fuck. Oh, Amy Schumer already Corn. got that one, too. She should. Oh, she, <laughs> no, I know what you did there. Oh, I but, see uh, what you did. Uh, yeah, but I love her, so I'm not even going to go into that scandal because I'm sure she's a woman of integrity. I've seen her comedy acts. <laughs> what about me? You've seen mine. Have I? Oh, I God. took Mariah to a show once. Do you want to know where she watched it from? From my car that she fell asleep in. She's and like, I'm just going to take a nap in the car before I come in. And she that was never a, came in. A, it's an educational show about how to be a good friend. Yes. How to support each other. What not to do. Keep in mind, yeah. I was supposed to bring her a vital piece of equipment. A, a bra. bra. I wasn't so you perform. So you were just yeah. just flying in the wind yeah, for your I was, set. I totally flat comedy, flat. everybody. Here I'm a <laughs> Girl, when, when, the, when, the jo- when the joke bombs, you're just like, I'm just gonna bounce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> titty, titty, titty. What yeah. kind of shirt were you wearing? Let's get into specifics. No, I was wearing like like you know a something dickie. like super tight. Like, you guys got to talk of... about assholes and dicks. Give me a second, okay? That's right. That's right. <laughs> it was one of those dresses where, like, like, like it's so it's tight enough where if you're, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I, I have a little, I have nice handfuls, but that's about it, you know. So if you could kind of keep it up without the bra, but then I was like, oh, it's cold in there. I don't want to be yeah. worried about it. Hey, girl, can you just bring me the bra from the car? She's like, yeah, sure, I'll be in in a few. She was not in. So in a was few. your set like? Were you just like <laughs> fuck it, or were yeah. you like? So anyways, you guys, <laughs> so have you ever been in this situation? You're like, boy, she's really angry today. She won't uncross her arm. Yeah. <laughs> so not welcoming energy. So my friend well, was supposed to come in here with my bra, <laughs> but I think she might have an on. I think she's loud. wearing it. <laughs> and by by she, I mean she has a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Supposedly. It's, 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 Supposedly. Yeah, now totally you're just really, pictures. now it's it, really gotten real in here. It, 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 shit, shit. <laughs> Shit just got she real. Shit just has a debt. Real, real. And it's real, always real. in my booty, but it's there. Oh. Well, I mean, speaking of. At least something's in your booty. <laughs> <laughs> so, everybody. Uh, other else? than a fist. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do you have tattoos on inside your anus as how far it's gone up? Can <laughs> they do that? Or do they just like mark up? I don't know. Again, do another, another thing notch. To ask like the a, next time I go out. Like a, no- like a notch on Excuse your butt. Me, like sir. it's like a I know. <laughs> yeah, like the reverse how many there. how many tattoos do you have? Where are they? Can I see them? <laughs> what do they mean? On my inside. Ooh, part. what is that? What are those five long band like round bands up your arm? That's a thick band. And why you is got one there. on your shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that a neck band? How did you do that? Oh, God. And would that work for women, too? I mean, in my oh, experience, my it hasn't been like what that. What if they have it on their leg, too? Like, is there's Well, I've seen, I've seen X-Tube extensively. And, <laughs> <laughs> and not I mean, just the ones that she stars in. Girl, you're watching it right now. Put your phone down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there is this one guy who got up to the ankle. And, <gasps> yeah. What? Oh, God. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it started with oh, the big no, toe. No, it, that, no, it, it, no. It, it, I mean, it's all no. fun and games until no. somebody no. loses an anklet. No, <laughs> no. 
or a I toe really ring. I really liked my Pandora it's charm I was wearing on my ankle. But now it's gone in somebody's <laughs> anus. Hey, you stole my toe ring. <laughs> All right. So we always... <laughs> <laughs> Lilith um, Fair. That's why. And we're oh, back. Oh, totally. God. Totally. And we're back. <laughs> and we're, we're good. I think that the hashtag of the week. <laughs> hashtag of the week. <laughs> yeah. Should be ass play. All right. There you go. <laughs> there it's you done. Go. We always do one topic on the show that just makes you go. Whoa. That's been this whole show. I, well, talking? yeah. No, it totally has been. <laughs> But so, this one, this one's really, okay, so um, a, a student, 20 years old, demands a lifetime supply of chocolate because she had no wafer in her Kit Kat bars. Um, she's threatening legal action because she bought eight of the chocolate bars and none of them had their tra- trademark wafer inside. Um, she's like, they should definitely give it to me. I'm hoping my demand will go higher than the cus- higher than the customer service platform. I'd like the CEO of Nestle to respond to my letter because it's an extremely important issue. I'm trying my luck. You, if you don't ask, you don't get. The loss I have suffered is of monetary and emotional significance. So you know what, Pandora? Um, this Uh-oh. is a type of privilege that we're talking about. <laughs> just the absurdity. Well, she's and, not white. So and, it's just, I'm well, just... Uh, why are you being so racist? I was not talking well, you're about, talking about being white. I was talking about privilege. Some of my best friends are privileged. Uh, why are I was going to say some exactly. of my best friends are white. Girl. <laughs> not anymore after this show. Bye, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah, Mariah's looking at me because yeah, I got pulled over in San Diego <laughs> for making an illegal U-turn. And the cop was like, all right, just don't do it again. I was like, okay. And that's and called that's, lady privilege. That is, yeah. lady, that is, that's that called, is a lady privilege well, for sure. Like, if at you least cry her a little nipples bit. are at ten and two. I know. Well, <laughs> Were I you wearing a bra at the time? No, I was not. Well, Did you there take you it go. off? There we go. <laughs> I think what this show is teaching you, Samantha, is <laughs> don't wear a bra anymore. He I will just man. forget it, off it right now, guys. Get <laughs> let them loose. Let them fly, <laughs> ma'am. Those are the prettiest kneecaps I've ever seen. Bitch. Damn. You I'll, just I'll, make sure you keep those on the steering wheel. Okay? Oh, girl, I will talk to you after the show, young lady. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is my um, life, you guys. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't change it for the world. I sure wouldn't, actually. Oh, but madam. here's the thing. I feel like Nestle or whatever should just send her a lifetime of just the wafer. I'd be like, all right, bitch, you want a wafer here? Oh, my here. God, that would be genius. Right? It actually like, would be. I would I'd be okay. Would. This is what you didn't have. This is what you now have here, to never put, have again. put them in your chocolate bar. Yes. Now, now, here, take that, you dry mouth bitch. Yeah, right? <laughs> Bye. I just, I just <laughs> the, suing because or threatening to sue because of an emotional significance. I'm like, it's a chocolate. Are bar. you that much of an emotional eater? Well, there's I mean, a lot of people who have a strong attachment to chocolate bars. Apparently, it's like it sounds like my ex girlfriend. Honestly, like <laughs> when I saw, I was like, let me look at who is that. No, was she that a like? double oh, yeah. into chocolate okay. bar? All clear. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I don't know what this show was. <laughs> Or what happened. <laughs> but I hope that everybody has enjoyed watching it. Uh, so thank apologize. you guys for being on the show today. <laughs> I you. hope they've thank all you. enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed being here. Um, now, oh, Havilland, I know that you're performing in New York City I February am. 7th yes, at this, Joe's Pub. Yes, this Sunday night, 7.30, Joe's Pub at the Public Theater. Awesome. Come Yay. see me. Yes, if you're in New York City, please go see her. She's amazing and, and talented. Are you going to sing a Are you gonna sing a Barbie song? Um... They're all Barbie songs. Okay. They're all Are Barbie songs. Are you going to be looking at tattoos while you're there? Armed I mean, tattoos. yeah. Now I am. <laughs> now that I'm now that I'm armed with all this information. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're here to Good teach. One. We're here to and, teach. Uh, where can we find you online? Havilandstillwell.com or on Twitter, Miss Haviland, or anywhere else. I mean, there aren't a lot of Havilands, to be honest. It's fabulous. <laughs> Just look it up. She's Google amazing. Google.com. Is I a good it. website. It's very important. <laughs> it's very informative. <laughs> I just and got Googled. Mariah, yeah. uh, we know where we can find you. In hell. Uh, uh, La, Brea, yeah. La Brea and Sunset. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's been working for her paycheck this week. On my couch. <laughs> working hard for my crackers. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it that way. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. I meant my wafers. It all comes back to white people. <laughs> for white privilege. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> And Lady Samantha privilege. Hill, where can we find you? I don't know. At, at the Samantha Hill <laughs> on Twitter. Find, you and can you find can me find, never again. <laughs> you can find me at pandorabox.com. There's two X's in box because the X marks the spot. Thank you. Bye. Bye.